Hey guys, to the beers, today we're going to be talking about the King of Fighters 14, Geese Howard, and who I think is going to be in the next trailer. So we all know they've been doing trailers once a week now, because obviously the, everybody knows the roster, so now they're just trying to build up the hype and show that they are making graphical progress with each new update. So with that being said, let's go ahead and talk about what is at hand, Geese Howard, his stage, and what we saw in this trailer. First things first, we saw the first thing is Geese how it looks amazing that they are updating the graphics with each trailer and this has been, if not the greatest, the best graphical jump we've seen so far. With every trailer we've seen graphical improve improvements, but with this one we have seen a graphical leap. If you look at the ninth trailer and then you look at this trailer, you can see a leap between graphics. You see slightly edgy type graphics but still look polished and well done in the ninth trailer. And then in the 10th trailer, it's just sharp, very, very robust, contrasted, very well done made Geese Howard and Rio. They both look amazing, but Rio was a little bit more on the edgy side than Geese. Geese looked the best out of the two, but I'm pretty sure they're going to push out those edges on, um, on every other character, including Rio, as the time keeps going by. Now, let's talk about the stage. That stage that we saw, that's a little shrine stage looked amazing like when i say looked amazing it was the best stage that we've seen so far outside of the brazilian stage and outside of the updating the little um the aquarium stage that they keep updating that aquarium stage is starting to look really really good now and they keep on doing better and better lighting changes and uh, hopefully they get to a point where they have a stable lighting change that they actually are happy with but so far my favorite stage is that shrine stage that shrine stage is op in terms of amazing glorious graphicness that's not a word but it's a word today and the reason why i'm so kind of excited for the way the things are going somebody kind of got me hyped though somebody um i believe it was in my comment section and they said i wouldn't be surprised if the king of fighters 14 ended up looking better than street fighter 5 and i said huh I wouldn't be surprised either because the way that they're moving, the, that the speed that they're updating these, these graphics and making the game look better to appeal to all audiences so they can ensure that people will buy the game and won't have a reason or any reason at all to com come up with a complaint about the game. That seems to be the direction that they're gaming, aiming for this game and it seems to be working. The more I look at the trailers in the official PlayStation page or anybody's page for that reason, everybody's defending the game now. There's a few people hating on it, but if you look, there's people that will defend the shit out of it underneath those hate comments, and I am loving that that's happening. I don't know if I was a fuel for that, but I have been, I will, I have been, and I will be a supporter for the King of Fighters 14 till the game gets to the point where it drops dead because this is going to be the game that I actually do a full on playthrough of because I am loving the King of Fighters 14. I love the King of Fighters as a franchise and I love SNK Playmore and all of their mainstay titles. So we're going to and hopefully we can get other franchises of fighting games or competitive games or whatever that I like to have that type of appeal on me and you guys as well so that we can make these type of moves for other games as well but going on into my pick on who i think is going to be in the next trailer i think it's going to be mine i think we're going to see a actual gameplay playthrough of joe and i think the last character is probably going to be the the brazilian ninja or it's going to be the really pretty brazilian girl that's what they that's the titles that they put in before they actually give us the real names so yeah so regardless of that what do you guys think do you think that the king of fighters 14 is progressing well do you think that it's going to outsell Street Fighter 5 or do you think it's going to just come out just and demolish Street Fighter 5 in all categories? Let me know in the comment section below. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll see you guys in the next one.